Well, welcome to our tutorial on Quizlet. We'll be using Quizlet this week and next week um, to explore our study of modality specific patient care. This week we'll be studying CT and next week we'll be using MRI. A couple reasons why we're using Quizlet. One, I think it's just a nice departure. Let's just get away from the textbook for a while. Let's do something different. Um, I know that all of you have been pretty much textbook driven for quite a while and not in this course but even you know in other courses as well so I thought you know let's have a nice departure let's do something different for the final couple of weeks of of this course um, and I hope that you do find Quizlet um, a little bit engaging interesting to use the other reason too is, is quite frankly there isn't a very good textbook on CT patient care that I could provide you so what I did is I built um, stacks or decks of cards, which I'll show you what those are in just a moment, for us to use to explore this concept of, of patient care within CT. Um, these cards are editable. We can add to them in the future, uh, which is really kind of cool too. And there's a lot of ways that you can display the information, um, which I think makes it very customizable and, and interesting. So, you know, again, those two reasons. One, let's just change it up. Let's do something different something at least maybe kind of break the mold break the monotony if you will and then the other reason is um, this is a great substitute for not having a, a good textbook in that so with that let's go let's jump right in and look at Quizlet I'll show you what it is run through some of the features and we should be done here in about five minutes okay well the first thing that you want to do with Quizlet is go to your browser and it is a free program you can buy or you can subscribe for a very small fee if you want the extra you know little doodads that come with it but for the purposes of this course and for a lot of what you do uh, you can just go with the free version but first you have to find it so you can just go to uh, this is Chrome which I use a lot or just go to Google and you can just type in Quizlet Q U I Z well see it knows that I want there Q U I Z L E T dot com so I'm going to go to Quizlet, and um, I'm going to log out. It knows that I'm logged in <laughs> from previous work, uh, so I'm going to log out real quick. So this looks more like you when you go there. Log out. Kind of get this normal screen here. Okay. So you find Quizlet. Now, you know what is it? What does it do? Well, the first thing. I mean, you can feel free to explore and, and look up any topic that you want. There's all kinds of topics in here. Um, but in this case, you know, just to, with the course, what you'll want to do as soon as you're on Quizlet.com, you want to find the cards, the flashcards, if you will, that I made for you. So you'll type in CT patient care. And you will find all of these patient care uh, decks. Now you want the ones that say CT patient care and then there'll be a parentheses Roman numeral one you know or, or numeral one and numeral two all the way through numeral seven. Don't let that freak you out. <laughs> there are seven stacks of cards um, but each stack equates to about two maybe three pages of text so when you look at it we're, we're really looking you know maybe at about um, 20, 20, 20 to 30 pages of text maximum uh, that these uh, cards will produce so when you look at the reading assignment it's really not that bad and I'll show you some ways that it, it, it's really cool on how you can display that information but let's say alright you found uh, patient care one you can also see that it was made by this person right here, Banker 2001 25 TM, which is me. <laughs> Don't ask, long story, but <laughs> that is my name on Quizlet. Um, so if you want, you can click on that. You can click on my name, that Banker 2001 25 TM, and then you can see all, you know, nice and consolidated, all the decks, all the stacks of, of cards that we have. So let's say, for instance, um, let's just start off with section one, and it will come up, and you will have this. Uh, let's see if we can open. I can open up this full screen view if I wish, but I'll leave it. Um, let's see. Let's put it up on a full screen. There we go. 
Now, right now, it's displaying the card on, again, think of it again as a um, flash card. It is displaying the flash card or index card. Uh, and that's what this is driven by. This is driven from the, the original principle of index card learning, which I think is actually very powerful. I think it is a great way. Um, it's how I've studied for all my registry exams. Is I think it's a fantastic way to study. Um, but if you don't like that way, I'm not going to force you to do it. There's some other ways that you can learn uh, with, with Quizlet in just a moment. But for example, you have, let me squeeze it back down to normal size. Okay, so you know we're looking at this flashcard. It's got all this information on here. What you'll want to do is unclick the both sides button. I'm not quite sure why it defaults to that because that's really not how a card should look. But you'll unclick on that. So you'll have this card. And this, now this should look more like a traditional flash card. You'll have, um, we'll bring it back up here to expanded view. Uh, you'll have this informed consent. And then it says click to flip right down there. Okay, so informed consent. All right, well, what is that? You know, you maybe you don't know. <laughs> you should know. But this will give you a lot of detail of what it is. And then, you know, here you can read the back of the card. You know, the patient is required to provide um, informed consent before the start of any invasive procedure you know so on and so forth and then you can click back and bring the front of the card if you will back now this is probably the best way to study is is like this just kind of going through flipping it and clicking back and then going to the next card now you can see down here right here we have 57 cards this is a rather large deck um, this we have 57 cards within this deck so we can advance to the next card next card implied consent boom implied consent occurs when a patient is in need of immediate medical services blah 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 you're coming in on ER and you can't talk <laughs> uh, in this case services are rendered with the assumption that the patient would consent if able so that kind of gives you the basics I mean you go through the cards you know you flip them you go through you know, some of them as you go through you'll just like empty bladder well what does Chris mean by that well you really won't know until you do your first flip I mean you can kind of guess um, but uh, once you flip it then it will then it should hopefully make sense <laughs> if I made the card correctly uh, I'm sure there'll be a few cards that I messed up uh, if you do any see any of the weird ones let me know um, but uh, like with empty bladder um, really just wanted to hit home with the concept that during um, some studies, you should have the you know have the person have the patient go to the bathroom just to avoid discomfort or interruption. Last thing you want to do when you're right in the middle of something, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. You know that you, <laughs> you don't want that. So um, plus they're sitting there, you know, on the scanner, and, and maybe they have to go to the bathroom, and it's a lot of discomfort for the patient. So that's kind of the basics. You go through the flashcards. I'm gonna go back down to normal view here and you can just go through them flipping back and forth really really cool stuff that's not all of it there's even more what I think is really interactive learning um, as you scroll down here here are all the cards uh, in tablet form so like informed consent just like when we looked at that first card, informed consent, and I flipped it over, and then it had this, you know, kind of definition on the back. Same thing here, implied consent. So you can scroll all the way down. You can look at the entire content of the deck. is all written out here. But wait, that's not all. Uh, oh, and there, just, there are some images in here. When appropriate, um, I did toss some images in here. They may not... Um, don't some of them don't really lend themselves perfectly to a flash card but you'll get the point of it when you see for example um, you know the normal EKG waveform I wanted you to have that image because we refer back to some of these um, you know wave and complex cycles later on in the in as you're going through the card so I wanted you to have at least have that image um, so there are images in here too, not many, but I did put a few images in there, which is what I've been kind of busy with the past couple weeks is making these, uh, making uh, the deck for you guys, these these decks. Um, okay, so that's one thing to look at. You got the information here. That's okay. But what I think is really neat, 
and I've provided you this as PDF downloads but if you wish you can do you may want to change it up you click print and you can display the information in a lot of different ways so let's see here do 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 it's thinking okay now one of the things you'll have to do is right here it'll al alphabetize all of the flashcards you don't want to alphabetize them so unclick that and I find it's better to flip the terms so I, I click that let it think here so now you have a nice little printout informed consent you can just literally just scroll down the side I mean you can print these out and you can look in informed consent okay then you can read so let's say you don't you go to Quizlet and you think okay that's really nice Chris but I don't want to do flashcards you know that's fine you can go ahead print these out and basically turn it into an outline um, that you can read in a more traditional style with the information here or the topic and then the topic expanded upon in the next column and you can print these out you can also do glossary format I think the table format is a little bit better but maybe you like the glossary you know where it has the definition informed consent and then uh, or the word and then the definition following it I think the table formats easier it's easier for me to find information hint hint if you're doing the test or quiz you can easily scan down the side and look for the topics on here pretty pretty easily so um, I like the table format and remember again to flip the terms and to turn off the alphabetization is that a word turn off click alphabetize and unselect it is what I want to say you do not want these alphabetized the reason why is that they do go in sequence so some of the cards when you look when you read them sort of some of them only make sense in relation to the previous card or make a lot more sense I should say uh, in relation to a previous card so you'll see that they are lumped in categories um, someday in time I might go back and put a, 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 a card in there that it shows which category I mean you can kind of figure it out as you're going through but you're gonna go through um, like IV procedures you're, you're gonna go through uh, documentation procedures and you'll see that oh these are you know four or five cards on documentation I, you know kinda makes sense you'll get to radiation dose there will be you know 10 15 cards on radiation dose so if you do if you keep them in a in sequence and do not randomize them um, or uh, alphabetize them then they tend to make um, a little more sense to you so and then you can do um, all kinds of games too which is really neat I mean you can make a test just, you know you can't hurt anything you can't um, so feel free to play with all the stuff but you can click test and it will make you know uh, fill in the blanks it will make matching all based on the cards for you that does it automatically um, you know GFR rates you, you can do all of this stuff little multiple choice you know questions all done based on the information within that deck so I think that's some pretty neat stuff um, and the games on here are, are pretty cool too um, so again play with you know feel free to uh, go through that the scatter game I think is kinda neat might be a little busy for this one but what you do is you take two items drag them together and then they disappear so you now this is kind of all lumped together because this is a rather large um, deck but if it was a smaller deck of you know 20 cards you'd have all these terms and you can drag them over um, onto the appropriate definition let's see here pertinent patient history uh, I'm trying to find a match Um, but I think you get the kind of get the point here um, that you know you can play with some of the games that it, it makes for you um, so let's see we've gone through um, how to do the decks normally how to more importantly uh, print in a more traditional format 
if you'd like to have it in uh, again more of a textbook style make sure you unalphabetize flip the terms which it will do here in a moment again I'm on a public Wi-Fi here at the college and it grinds a little slowly oh and my Chrome just quit but we're okay I think we pretty much got the basics of Quizlet so with that um, again I hope you do find that Quizlet is, is interesting and, and helpful to you um, it's a great way to study you know for any type of exams that you might be doing in the future as well um, but again if you don't like it like I said you, we will have all those PDFs of the information available to you so with that I think that will conclude today's little um, tutorial on Quizlet thank you for watching if you do have any questions as you go through it or find it any you know find any difficulties please let me know thanks again bye bye